Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PostgreSQL on your Windows 10 operating system. PostgreSQL is a powerful open source object relational database system. So let's see how we can download and install it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for PostgreSQL. The first link which will appear here will be from PostgreSQL.org. So thus just click this link and on this website on the top you will be able to see this download tab. So you just need to click the download tab and then you just need to search for Windows option, right? So because it's a open source and cross-platform uh, database management system, it's available for Linux, Mac OS and other operating systems also including Windows. So we just need to choose Windows here and then here you just need to click this link which says download the installer. And now we are going to choose uh, the version of the PostgreSQL which we want to uh, install. So from here you just need to select the latest version which is at, at the top. In my case it's 9.6.2 at the time of making this video but it can be a later or latest version in your case, right? And now you need to choose the Windows operating system x86 64-bit, okay? So just choose this option. Now click download now, which is going to download the PostgreSQL executable file. So I can see this option for downloading this executable file which says PostgreSQL 9.6 at the time of making this video. And this executable is about 164 megabytes. So keep in mind that also. So let's save it. And once this file is saved, we are going to start installing it. So I will pause the video while this executable file is downloaded and then we will see how to install it. So now the download of this executable file is complete. So I'm going to double click on this executable file and I'm going to minimize my browser. And in the first step, this PostgreSQL executable will ask us to give the user account control. So just click yes at this time. And apparently uh, this installation requires Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 redistributable so it will download it automatically you don't need to do anything but I can see this step that it's uh, installing this Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 so let it run and now the setup wizard will start for PostgreSQL so the first step is easy just click next and this is the location where Postgre will be installed on your Windows 10 operating system. If you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and click next. And this also just leave it as default and click next. And this is the important uh, step. Here you need to give a password which you can remember because you are going to require this password later when you uh, want to you know access your postgre database right so just give the password which you can remember i'm going to give a easy password which i can remember and which is also secure right and then i will click next and this is the default port which will be used by your postgre uh, database management system so just leave it as default if you don't have the good reason to change it right and then just click next and here it says select the locale to be used by the new database cluster so if you are not sure about the locale you just need to uh, leave it as default okay so i'm going to leave it as default and click next and in the next step it says setup is now ready to begin installing PostgreSQL on your computer so click next and then the installation will start for PostgreSQL so now the installation of PostgreSQL on my Windows 10 operating system is complete and I can see this message which says setup has finished installing PostgreSQL on your computer 
launch stake builder at exit now what is stake builder stake builder may pro may be used to download and install additional tools drivers and application to complement your postgresql installation that means drivers such as uh, for example you, if you are developing c++ application using postgresql then drivers for that and other language support and other drivers also so i will leave it as checked this checkbox and i will click finish which is going to start this stake builder okay now let's see what's there so in here i can see uh, this postgresql option here which is my local uh, database if you have the remote server then you can choose uh, this one but right now i want to connect to my local database so i will choose this option which is the second option and then click next and in here i can see all these options but for now i don't want any of the add-ons or any of uh, these drivers right so i'm going to click uh, cancel if you will uh, click next it's going to uh, tell you that you need to select any one of the packages from this list right so for now i'm going to cancel it because i don't want any driver or any add-on so i will click cancel and click yes now this stake builder is installed on your system with uh, the postgresql installation so just go to your start button here and then go to all apps and then we will go to the letter p and you will see postgresql 9.6 here right so when you expand this you can see the stake builder is already installed so whenever you need any add-on or any uh, you know package you can open this stake builder and install it right now in order to connect with your database which is your local uh, database which you have installed you just need to click this option which says pg admin 4 okay so just click this option pg admin 4 which is going to start pg admin and the pg admin is going to look like this right now you just need to expand this server category here and you will be able to see uh, this postgresql 9.6 in your case it can be 9.7 or any uh, latest version right now you will also be able to see this cross red cross symbol here that means uh, you are not connected to your database right so just click on this uh, postgresql which is going to ask you for the password which you have given at the time of installation right so i told you to remember this password so you need to give the same password which you have given at the time of installation and you can save this password and then click ok and this is going to connect to your database so you can see server connected that means our connection is successful with the database i can maximize uh, this pg admin and we can look at it in a better way now in here you have the database category and then you have uh, table spaces so go to databases and by default this postgre has one database whose name is postgres itself right this is the sample database and then when you expand it you will be able to see all these sections here so in the schemas you will have this publish public section and then you will be able to see the tables here also so when you click the tables right now there is no tables inside your postgresql database but later when you uh, you know uh, create some tables you will be able to see those tables here right and then you have uh, the properties here and the sql uh, here so you can uh, execute your sql uh, queries from here also with this pg admin now there is another tool which is called psql which is a command line tool which you can configure for your windows terminal and first of all let's see where our postgresql is installed so just open your folder explorer and go to your c directory and then in here uh, i think it's installed in my program files 
and then you can see PostgreSQL and then you can uh, just click 9.6 version and then just click bin folder okay so here all the dll files and all the executable files are there right and in here you will be able to see this uh, tool which is called psql so you need to uh, just set this psql in your environment variable and then you will uh, be able to run your queries from your terminal also so just copy uh, this path which is up to bin right and then open your system so just search for system from here and then go to system in the control panel and in the advanced setting just click the advanced setting here you will be able to see environment variables and in the environment variables in the system variables just select the path and double click it or you can just click add it also here so just uh, double click on it and in here we are going to uh, add the new path so just click uh, the new option here and then paste whatever path you have copied for the PostgreSQL bin folder right so just paste this path here and then press enter and now once again go to the folder where PostgreSQL is installed and once again go to 9.6 folder and now this time just uh, open the lib folder from here so just click lib and then copy this path also and then we will add this path also here so add new and then paste this path and press enter so we have added the bin folder path and lib folder path to our environment variable for postgresql click ok click ok and then click ok once again now uh, PostgreSQL or PSQL environment is uh, set on your Windows operating system. So now you can open the command prompt. So right click on your start menu and you can open the command prompt from here. You can see the command prompt option or you can search for command from prompt here also. So just search for CMD and you will be able to see command prompt and open it from there. So here, once the command prompt is there, you can give the PSQL command. So just give PSQL and then give the, for example, minus U for the username and the default username is Postgres. Okay. So you can just give uh, Postgres here and the database name is also Postgres in our case, you can see on the pg admin here the default uh, you know database name is also postgres okay so you can see the owner is postgres and the database name is also postgres so if you are confused you can see it in the pg admin also right so just click this database and you will be able to see this is the database name and this is the owner name right so both are same by default so I'm going to just give PSQL minus U. First is the username here, Postgres, and second is the database name here. So just give Postgres once again, Postgres and Postgres. First is for username and second is for the database name and then press enter. And now give your password, which you have given for the PG admin also. So whatever you have selected your password at the time of installation, you need to give it here also. So I'm going to give my password and then press enter. And now I am in the Postgres uh, command shell, right? So for example, there are some uh, default uh, options here. For example, when I give uh, DT, I think uh, with the backslash DT, it's going to give me the relations. And for example, I'm going when I'm going to give uh, DU, it's going to give me all the users which are uh, there. So Right now, I only have one user, which is uh, the Postgre user, and it has uh, the super user privileges, which can create uh, roles, create DBs, and replication. So this is how you can uh, use the Postgre SQL or PSQL terminal also, once you have installed Postgre. So this is how you can install Postgre on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.